one 900 Molly over there. Oh, boys, huh? Hundreds of them. <laughs> Turn on the light and they all scurry under the counter. <laughs> well, you may want to bring a bug bomb Saturday night. Don't forget we're chaperoning Molly's school dance. Oh, swell. That means we get to hear lots of loud music and giggling. Oh, I don't know. Personally, I just love chaperoning. All that free punch and vanilla wafers without the humiliation of having to date. <laughs> and you know something? I'll never forget my junior prom. My date, a girl named Clover Campbell. She canceled on me at the last minute. She had an attack of eczema, and she was embarrassed to wear a strapless gown. So there I was on the big night. I was just kind of moping around my room. And my grandmother comes in in this psychedelic moo-moo with the new set of teeth in it. Well, I guess that eczema looked pretty good to you then. <laughs> I don't know. She took a look at me and she goes, Ooh, ee, ooh, uh, uh, pumpkin, get your shoes on. We're going to ting-tang, walla, walla, bing-bang. <laughs> I love that woman. Norman Bates had nothing on you. Well, I want to go to the dance with Matt Grody. Matt Grody's 25 years old. Uh, Matt Grody's 14 years old. Can't be. He, he dates nothing but divorced women. Oh, that's, that's good, though. That means he won't be asking Molly out. Well, it's not up to him anyway. It's a Sadie Hawkins dance, and the girls get to invite the boys. Oh, God. <laughs> I don't believe what? it. Matt said yes! Oh, honey. I'm going to the dance with Matt Grody. <laughs> You spray and you spray, but there's always one that comes crawling out the minute. <laughs> Got my front porch swing, a glass of lemonade. A baby on my knee, I think I got it made. You'd best be believing, I'm never giving easy shade. They got ten cent doors, no locks on the door, and everybody knows your name. They got Sunday school, the golden rule, and every day that passes is slower than molasses, and you can't help but smile, lying in the shade. So come on down and you'll be glad you stayed. Don't talk about leaving, I'm never leaving in the shade. Better believe it. Oh, wait, 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 now. You are actually going to try a case where a man hears a noise, shoots his mother-in-law 11 times, and then claims he thinks she's a raccoon? <laughs> he said it was dark. I say he's innocent. Well, I'll find more out about it when I get to Jonesboro. Oh, honey, I told Molly that you'd take her to get a dress for the dance. No, I don't want to do that. I don't even like that Matt guy. He's got a tattoo. It's a birthmark. Maybe it's a hickey. I'm sorry. I'm not being helpful, am I? Well, I think you're overreacting. Well, who asked you? No one asked me, but I'm sitting here at the table, and I have a right to speak, and I say you're overreacting. I'm not overreacting. And if he does have a, a birthmark, it's in the shape of a skull, and it says, bite me. I'll take Molly shopping. I saw a beautiful dress in the window of that shop, Dress to Thrill. It was rainbow spandex and had a built-in bustier. Right, and then we can accessorize it with a big old sash that says, Miss Trailer Park, please. No. <laughs> what the girl needs is some elegance. Now, I see something form-fitting but strapless and, ooh, maybe midnight blue. Hold it, hold it. <laughs> My daughter goes to a dance. She's gonna have a dress on that has straps holding it up, and nothing's gonna be boosted. I'll, I'll take her shopping. <laughs> Great. Come on, it won't be that bad. All you have to do is lock a smile on your face and spend a lot of money. I can do that. <laughs> Don't fool me. You may be grinning like an idiot, but inside you're still overreacting. <laughs> Guess what just came from me in the mail? That manila envelope? <laughs> and you think this brilliant mind was once wasted on striptease dancing? <laughs> now listen, listen. I saw this ad. It was in the back of Math World magazine. It said for $49.95 that trace your family lineage. Guess what? I'm a Scotsman. <gasps> yeah, right. When I'm drinking, I'm hell in a troll. <laughs> 
Now, come on, Frida. The whole thing's legitimate. It's verified by the Scottish clan alliance. Look, see? It's my family coat of arms. Looks like a cat coughing up a hairball. <laughs> it's not a cat. It's the great line of Scotland in his breathing fire. What does this writing mean? Well, that's the Styles family motto. It's in, it's in Latin. It means proud and tall. You sure it doesn't mean short and celibate? You can scoff all you want to, Lassie. But a man knows when he's got the blood of the Highlands coursing through his veins. <laughs> uh, that he does, Captain. You hear that? That was Scotty from Star Trek. <laughs> I cannot push the engines any further, Captain. If I push them any further, she'll blow! Herman. Hey, Captain. Don't call me Captain. All right. It's too bad your ancestors weren't mine. Well, I gotta go buy a dress. What? Buy a dress? Ha, you Americans are a strange lot. <laughs> How's it going, honey? Almost ready. I'm a little concerned about that dress. Oh. Why? Don't you like it? Oh, I like it. I, I like it so much, I wish there was more of it. Oh, Daddy. Pat, to help me, my, my, my 13 year old daughter's gonna come out here in a dress that's no bigger than a belt. Coach, a lot of latest fashions are short. I have more material in my socks than that dress. <laughs> oh, doesn't she look wonderful? Is it hot in here? Oh, my God, is this for the dance? Isn't it incredible? Totally. Dance is going to be the last thing on Matt's mind when he sees you in that. <laughs> you know, I cannot believe that you're going with him. I mean, Tina was so bummed when he dumped her. He is such a stud. <laughs> the mirror is the room spinning. Daddy, I love it. Can I get it? Wouldn't you rather have something that you can wear out of the house? You know. Like, like that, Arthur. Coach Newton, this is the school uniform for the St. Francis Academy. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's bold. It makes a fashion statement. That's why I like it. I'd wear that. Well, then you wear that, and I'll wear this. Now, I can't let you go to the dance in that, in that dress. Why not? Because. Just, just because I can't. That's not a reason. Well, you'll understand when you become a dad. <laughs> We're still browsing. Listen, Wood Newton, all I'm saying is, someday Molly is going to look back over all those important moments in her life, and there you'll be with a big old wrecking ball. <laughs> Honey, I know it's hard, but we have to allow Molly to start making some of her own decisions. You're right. You're right, too. Now, hold it. Hold everything. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, uh. Ponder, did you slip a Mickey into my iced tea? No, I forgot today. <laughs> I could have sworn I just heard Wood Newton say that I was right about something. No, I was up half the night thinking about this. I, I was a little overprotective, you know. I mean, something you said triggered it. What was it you said? Said if you keep this up, Matt Grody will be your son-in-law. That was it. <laughs> well, I don't know, Coach. It's like the great Scottish poet Rabbi Burns used to say. <laughs> An honest man of bonus might best degree out of that. For that and of that, it's coming yet and of that. What the hell does that mean? I've no idea. It sounded pretty, and I was hoping nobody would ask. I, I wish you would just stop this nonsense. Listen, the only thing Scottish about you is the Egg McMuffin on your breath. Listen, had just about enough of you mocking me and my people, Lassie. Look, you call me Lassie one more time, little man, I'm gonna cut you. I told you, Freda, it's what a Scotsman calls a woman. It's also what little Timmy used to call his dog. Oh, hi, everybody. Oh, hey. hey oh. There. He's got a Kleenex on his head. Honey, that's a bandana. Remember what you said about wanting to change? Yeah. Mom? Dad? This is Matt. Hi, Matt. It's so nice to meet you. You too. Way to go, man. Your wife's a major babe. 
try to let Molly make her own decisions. Cool. Molly, I'm going to score some sodas, okay? See you there, babe. Everybody's a babe to this guy. Isn't he gorgeous? No, he's so handsome, honey. <laughs> yeah, he's got a great hat. <laughs> Wasn't there something you wanted to say to Molly? No. Get up. Honey, uh, I, I, uh, I overreacted in the, in the dress store. Yeah, you did. I'm sorry. I mean, I, maybe I haven't been fair to you and uh, Matt. Sure, underneath that diaper on his head, he's a nice guy. Thank you. I think. Hey, babe, sodas. Hope he's not talking to your mother. I gotta go, Daddy. Have fun. <laughs> How you doing? Oh, I'm fine. I'm fine. <laughs> Seems okay. I mean, he may say some grossly inappropriate things, but, you know, I, I think basically he's harmless. Mm. Well, don't love me now, Mr. Basically Harmless is taking your daughter's lips out for a test drive. <laughs> I'm dealing with it. I'm dealing with it. Good, because I'm going to kill him. <laughs> I can't believe he kissed Molly like that right in front of us. And that wasn't just a peck, either. I mean, that was like the creature from the alien that sticks to your face. <laughs> and, and you, how, how can you be so calm about this? The new Wood Newton stays calm. The old Wood Newton would have stuffed him in the trunk of his car and dumped him in Mexico. Well, let's not rule anything out. Daddy, what do you think we should do? Nothing. Well, that's good. That's very good. Does all that wisdom come with age? You're just so senile, you don't know what we're talking about. I know what you're talking about. You're looking for an easy fix, but there isn't one. You just got to buckle up for the ride. You know, when you two were dating, it wasn't exactly easy for me to watch you kiss my daughter. Still isn't. <laughs> about the best you can do is go through life with a pack of Tums in your pocket. Maybe Daddy's right. I mean, maybe we just need to be more mature about this. I mean, after all, we're the adults. Hello? Matt, the little creep. He makes me want to puke. <laughs> oh, yeah, one moment, please. He wants to talk to Molly. What should I do? Do you have an idea? Well, yes, I have an idea. It's kind of radical, and you may not like it. Molly, telephone. I told you it was radical. Daddy's right. I mean, if we're not careful, we're going to have grandkids with tattoos that say, bite me. Grandpa. Hello? Oh, hi. I can't really talk now. Okay, but you ain't your first. Okay, let's do it together. On three. One, two, three. <laughs> you didn't hang it up. I'll help. <laughs> I can't believe you did that. Why can't you just leave us alone? That was the old Wood Newton, wasn't it? I'll go talk to her. Here, keep the pack. I'll take it. Good choice. They always say no, and they always come back. Still don't know why you needed me here. I don't want anybody to see me buying a dress. Besides, nobody's going to look at me with you with that beanie on. How many times I have to tell you this is not a beanie? It's a bonnet. You think that makes it all right? Does she have a strapless bra to wear with the dress? God, I hope not. Coach Newton, she's going to need some sort of foundation underneath. Yeah, well, just put something in the bag, and I, I don't want to see it. Excuse me. Does this come in a petite?
don't you leave something for the kids? <laughs> Took one less rib than you did. You counting? No, but you brought it up. <laughs> what are you doing there, anyway? Well, Fontana wanted me to get a picture of Molly at her first formal event. I also figured if you're going to make a public spectacle of yourself, I want a picture of that, too. <laughs> well, don't do any dancing. It scares the kids. <laughs> Oh, she is so beautiful, Lord. Oh. Yes, she is. Tom? Oh, yeah. Hey, everybody. Hello. Hi, my darling. Oh, you look so gorgeous. Yeah, you look she... wonderful. Thank you for my dress, Daddy. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Thanks for that dress, man. <laughs> We're trying to let Molly make her own decisions. All right, you two kids get together for a picture. Oh. Unless you're about to lose it, in which case I'll take yours first. Hey, Tina. Looking good, babe. Well, we'll see you guys later. Okay, have fun, you two. <laughs> what was that for? For buying her that dress. Oh, she really is so happy. Growing up. So is her daddy. <laughs> You've been shopping for Herman, too? We're trying to let Herman make his own decisions, too. Oh, hey, everybody. Hi, Herman. Hi. Hi there. Well, place looks great, doesn't it? Oh, it does. Great. Yeah, yeah marvelous. Oh, really. Wonderful. Are we all supposed to pretend this man is not wearing a skirt? Evan, it's not a skirt. It's a kill. My ancestors been wearing them for centuries. Yeah, but they didn't buy it at the young and pretty dress shop. <laughs> well, I think you look great. I think you look quite dashing, Herman. And I think you look pretty bonny yourself. Ooh. Hey, how about a little dance? Ooh, I'd love to. Well, <laughs> <Yeah. It's done. laughs> oh. Now, this could be more Scotland than I want to see. Yeah. <laughs> I hope we don't get a peek at the Loch Ness Monster. <laughs> Joyful people. <laughs> In that case, you should get quite a kick out of this. Hey, my family coat of arms. Well, apparently it's my family coat of arms, too. I sent away to the same outfit you did, and this is what came back. That's amazing. You mean tell me you're Scottish? Now, look at me, man. I ain't no more Scottish than Willie Mays. You're telling me Willie Mays is Scottish. <laughs> No, I'm telling you that anybody who's got 49.95 is Scottish. <laughs> Are you telling me this whole thing's a scam? That would be my guess. <laughs> oh, my God, I'm wearing a dress. <laughs> In that thing, Candy. But oh. you'd have to. Have you guys seen Molly? Uh, not lately. Why? Well, not that I'm worried. It's just I haven't seen Matt either. Not that I'm worried, but let's hunt him down like dogs. Yeah. I knew he'd break her heart. What do I do now? No. Just do what all fathers do. Be there to pick up the pieces.
I know, I know. You warned me. I didn't listen. And you were right. Guy's a jerk. So you must be very happy. I'm not happy. And you're probably right about this dress. Probably look like, stupid in it. You look wonderful. Yeah, right. Hey. Wait a minute. I was there tonight. You walked in. The whole place lit up. You were beautiful. You must have felt that. Yeah. At first. You are beautiful. And nothing that kid can do or say will ever change I can't believe how much I wanted to go out with him. What a creep. Yeah. Calling names won't help anything. A dork. <laughs> he didn't even ask me to dance, Daddy. Oh, I know a guy that'll dance with you always. Mark McEwen. Wednesday, Fran Drescher stars as a woman who's about to become a live-in legend. The Nanny premieres Wednesday. Now, Harry Anderson stars in the hit comedy that critics call the best of the season. Dave's World is next.